Hello guys, welcome back. Loki is doing his wiggle dance. If you've been with him a while, you know it. It's just kind of little dance that he does when he's done a particularly good mischief on me. I've been feeling Poseidon coming in strong the last couple of days, and I've been okay. And I could predict it. I think Loki gave me a gift of foresight. As soon as Poseidon got his way and he got what he wanted, he went away. I looked at Loki and I was like, what the hell was that? Poseidon had totally invaded my personal space, encamped all around my house, was totally invading my life. Um, the sharks were going as crazy as crazy can be in that game, though. I think that was Loki doing things for his amusements. He smacked her like, hmm? And this was all in a roundabout way because Loki wants a shrimp basket. Loki's like, yeah, shrimps, shrimps. Let's go get shrimps now, okay? Shrimps and burger. And he wants fast food. This was all for fast food. Loki made me go through all this craziness and royally invited Poseidon in because Loki wants fast food. And I'm like, damn it, Loki. And he's back here like, ha ah. And he knew that since Poseidon got his way, if it was Poseidon, it wasn't just Loki and drag, as I call it. <laughs> he's back here, yeah. Um... And Poseidon was Poseidon. He knew I would be so totally grateful to be back with Loki because Poseidon's really intense. Um, and what was the capstone of it was there was this game I got I thought it would be a lovely gift for Poseidon. It's a VR experience you'll never see because the devs, for whatever reason, when you make a recording of this game, there's all these tacky ass hashtags floating around in front of everything and you can't see anything. So I guess they did that so that you couldn't make a recording of it. And I'm like, you suck. Well, the Ocean Conservancy preaches total abstinence of eating seafood ever again, ever. And Loki, instead of coming over and talking common sense to me, he goes, hey, hey, yeah. Go ask Poseidon. Poseidon's god of the sea. Now remember, Loki's a god of the sea too, so is New York. And I knew what answer they would both give me, but, you know, being innocent, trusting me, I went over and I asked Poseidon, god of fishermen, if I should stop eating fish for the rest of my life. He develops an interesting tick really fast, and then his answer to this was to just follow me around with this really intense energy of, oh, okay. Seafood's not good enough for you. I can see I can see that. I'm poor, right? I'm poor. I'm the poor god. You don't like me because my gifts aren't good enough. I'm like, oh, holy hell, this is not what I meant. And Lucky was laughing his ass off the whole time because he knew what would happen. He knew how touchy Poseidon is, and he knew that's why I usually don't work with Poseidon. I love him very deeply, but he's the damn touchiest god on the planet. You twitch in his presence. He's like, what? What? Damn it, I just twitched. No, you, you twitch because you don't like me. Damn, you have a chip on your shoulder, don't you? Oh, so now I have a chip on my shoulder. I'm like, he's like Loki intensified. That's the only way I can say it. If Loki is being unreasonable and ornery, it's nothing compared to dealing with Poseidon. And, and he was in a relatively good mood until I asked him if I should stop eating seafood. And that was his answer. So <laughs> Loki's been having fun. And Loki's back here doing his mischief dance because now he knows he'll get all the fish sandwiches and all the shrimp baskets he wants, and that's what he was after. And I'm like, you son of a bitch, you could have just told me. And he's like, ah, oh, that was fun. You should have seen you trying to get away from Poseidon because Poseidon won't let something go. He kept following me the last couple of days. And this happened last night, but he's been following me the last couple of days and being really super intense. And when I finally gave in and I played some Sea sounds, I went in and I like rested for a while. Apparently that's what he wanted, he left. And I looked at Loki like, what the hell even happened? He's like, I don't know. Don't ask me to explain it. <laughs> and I've even asked the other great gods, I've been like, what just happened? They're like, nobody understands him. Does anyone understand the sea? Nope. Nobody understands him either. And I'm sorry if he's your patron god. Um... He he will do that with me, though. He will come, and he will camp, and he will try totally try to dominate my life, and Poseidon and Poseidon only. And then he's gone. And then he's gone. And I could predict it. I knew. He was like, no, this time it'll be different. I will constantly with you. I am 
I'm like, yeah, uh huh. As soon as he got what he wanted, he's gone. He's gone. And I'm like, okay, I, I don't understand this part at all, but, you know, whatever. And and Loki's just loving it because Loki has been after fish and after shrimps. And he wants a cheeseburger. And unfortunately, they're making charcoal briquettes of the cheeseburgers up there, or I would have gotten him a lot, one a lot sooner. I said, I don't know. Maybe they'll start making burgers at the pizza joint, but their, their burgers up there are pretty bad. And he's like, fish. Fish. So yeah, he he's definitely he wants his fish and he wants his shrimps and he wants his chicken basket. I know the chicken basket is probably his ultimate goal. <laughs> it's good barbecue chicken, it really is. So yeah, that's what life with Loki is like. And it was funny because a comment popped up on a thing I made a video quite a while ago about being married to Loki. And that's part of the marriage, too. Sometimes he decides to create mischiefs on an epic scale for you, and he's running around hyper excited, like doing laps around you. And he's created all this mischief and chaos for you, and he's like dancing and celebrating, and you're just looking at him like, why? And you can't be mad at him because he's so happy and he's so elated. He created mischiefs for you, and aren't you happy? And I'm like, you're going to have every god and every pantheon want to kill me is what you're going to do. <laughs> and sometimes I swear he does it just to clear the other gods away from you. Because if he can create enough mischief, they'll be like, ugh, no. And they won't do it with you ever again. Um, so I didn't come back in, and he wanted his stuff, and he, he wanted all this stuff, and then he's gone. And Loki, soon as Poseidon was gone, Loki pounced in, and it's Loki's again. Loki really didn't give it up. Loki was just watching an amusement. Loki likes to amuse himself, and sometimes you're the source of his amusement, no matter what your relationship is with him. <laughs> he got bored. I didn't keep my eye on him, and he got bored. Remember how I kept playing that that underwater game? Kept playing that underwater game. He was bored. I had not re entertained his royal highness, so he made his own entertainment. He's like, ah! <laughs> so, we're going to be good. Um, It's a little too cold to take him out for fishes. I know, sweetie. It's too cold to take him out for fishes today or tomorrow, but Sunday is supposed to warm up into the 60s. Hopefully. Yeah, 60s in December. And, um... If it does, I will take him out. Um, God's willing, I can take him there and then maybe take him next door and get him some hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, heard, yeah, hot dogs. So I'm going to try to get him some food. Um, we're in a good enough place financially that if I don't go crazy, I can treat him out once this month. So that'll be our treat for the month because we'll probably go back to being cold the rest of the month, one would think. So, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have Loki in your life, you can expect lots of mischief. Don't let him get bored, because he will make his own fun. He will make his own fun, and you're usually in the center. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.